six months in with my Triumph Street Scrambler. I did try doing this on my uh, camera, but my camera movie option seems to be a bit limited. Anyway, I've had six months with the Street Scrambler, and do I like it? Is it? Am I loving it? Yeah, I'm loving it. I like it a lot. It's a great bike. I had the Kawasaki, those of you who are on my channel will know that I had the Kawasaki W800. I loved that. It was a back to basics motorcycle. This one's got a little bit more. It's got traction control. It's got ABS. It's got um, a lot of fun. It's got 900cc of low down torque, 54 brake horsepower. It's I'll just take you for a bit of a walk around. Oh, this one's got the uh, center stand, by the way. It is ideal. Get a center stand. It's got a fender extender as well. It keeps the mud and the muck off. Um, it's got a tiny little screen. It's hardly worth mentioning, really. It keeps a few flies off your instruments and a little bit of wind off your chest. And that's about it. Uh, color scheme's beautiful. Fit and finish, again, made in thailand now triumphs uh am i bothered not really and then you've got this tiny little rack it's only got a carrying capacity i think of about six pounds it's pretty useless actually so i got a rack from tech products and i've shown you my uh registration number but don't worry i've got a double barrel shotgun and a doberman in the house so uh, try your luck and come here. I don't think you would. I am joking, of course, in this PC age. Uh, I've got a lovely little uh, Givy box here and uh, 30 litre. I had it on my old Kawasaki W800 and uh, it does the job. Uh, on this side, you can see the upswept exhaust. It's called a street scram scrambler, but would you take it off road? Well, I don't take it off road. I polish it fastidiously. I'm slightly OCD, so uh, I tend to just uh, polish and polish and polish. So it gets, it does go on gravel tracks, um, but generally it doesn't need, as far as I'm concerned, that these are the standard pipes which I'm keeping. Uh, I'm not going to get uh, Vance and Hines. It's plenty loud enough. Um, the other thing I might consider doing, if somebody gave me a decatalyzer, the decatalyzer's in there behind that black uh, heat shroud and uh, the decat might be a good option but I, again I'm not going to pay three or four hundred pounds for a decat. Um, nice little touches, the spark plug, uh, I've got the Triumph logo on, uh, the caps there and again the fit and finish you've got to admit with Triumph they really do come up trumps. I think um, the fit and finish is I'd give it 9 out of 10. Um, slightly annoyed because my uh, wing mirror here, side mirror here, you can, I don't know if you can see that very well, it's very tarnished and I'm gonna, I had to get a pair of new mirrors from British Legends, a French company. Uh, however, Triumph wouldn't, because uh, the bike's over two years old, uh, they wouldn't renew it. So that's a, a bit of a bad one. Um, I would say that the seat is very, very comfortable. It's very, very comfortable. Um, and I have taken the the uh, pillion footrests off because at the moment my lovely insurance company uh, won't insure me for pillion because lots of them don't nowadays. It's quite ridiculous. But no, the, the seat is all day comfortable. I've got no complaints whatsoever. Uh, would I buy one? I'm six months in uh, on this uh, 3,700 mile version. Uh, yeah, I'd buy one again. I, I think it's a superb motorcycle. Very pleased with it. And um, overall, yeah, I'd give it very high ratings. So far, as you'd expect with the 2018 model, you wouldn't expect reliability problems. Uh, and, and I haven't got any. The um, spoked wheels, by the way, um, not not any rust as you would expect very well chromed uh, and again uh, the the ride is absolutely superb you can flick this bike round um, the other thing I might add as well in these eco-conscious days is um, 
is the 74 miles to the gallon and that's riding it reasonably sensibly but I uh, hope you like the uh, the little walk around Triumph Street Scrambler 900 uh, I've certainly enjoyed the bike and uh, if you like this subscribe to my channel say hi and uh, keep it shiny side up